Well, take this. Well, feed these gamers, boy. Respect them. Respect. Respect the viewers. And put the content out. These 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 viewers. These these gamers, aka viewers. <laughs> they're hungry. All right. Give them some news. What do we got for them? Okay. Hello, people. Mornings. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? All right, you gamers. You know, you know, you know. Everybody's starting to go open source now. AMD, <laughs> AMD got everybody hooked. Even Nvidia trying to go open source. And now Activision. Listen to this. Activision has released one of its former Call of Duty Warzone maps as open source. It says if you want to be a game developer or at least get some insight into making major AAA games, Microsoft on Activision just offered up a huge gift today. As posts on Activision official blog, the company has released a data set that includes a map named Cal Caldera, which was originally developed for the free-to-play shooters Call of Duty. The blog post, first, first of its kind data set released for Call of Duty, now available in Open USD, uh, contained the new complete geometry of Cal Caldera, as well as a uh, collection of ran randomly selected uh, anonymized time samples showing how players move around the map. This in initiative re represent Activision commitment to innovation and growth in multiple fields including AI learning with communities and a academia, um, academic uh, re research while propelling the advancement of game development. And it says the data set itself is 4 gig in size and Activision says also has over 5 million mesh, 28 million primitive and more than 1 billion point instance, the company adds that the release represents one of the largest ever U open USD data set that is now publicly available. Developer Ravensoft was the primarily team behind the development of Caldera Map, but it received some help from other studios like Binox, High Moon uh, Studios, and other uh, Call of Duty teams at Activision. Then it says here, uh, while budding game developers are uh, now, buddying uh, game developers will certainly benefit from this open source release of Caldera map. Activision also hopes that computer uh, researchers will be able to use the data set the blog post stated. The tubular data and metadata in include providing opportunities for richer understanding of how players interact with games, which can potentially lead to new insight on what uh, makes specific layout compelling for users. Then it says, uh, as a... Um, as we, as we learn what research and academic community finds useful in the, in the set, we want to create an, an, ongo an ongoing dialogue with them so we can completely, continuously, I <laughs> said completely, <laughs> make uh, updates that are helpful. This, the data is set now available to access and download at GitHub. And we got five comments. Let's see what these uh, commenters have to say. Hmm, all right. Let's see here. Uh, Jeezy said this. Does this include assets as textures related script and an animation for maps, objects? Then it says edit. Apparently not, but it is still interesting. My module. Um, and then CC, CC said this. It says uh, from glancing at the repo, I think it's just uh, geometry. <laughs> then it says edit. Can confirm from repo. We have also chosen not to include texture and materials in the, this release. This would add complexity and size. I mean, already heavily uh, scenes, and then uh, X X let's see, let me see. X Cal said this uh, because it would actually allow people to use these assets, and then CC come CC came back and said, okay, def definitely, and then PM said this, man, I, I am a I am a game dev, and I really don't find it interesting. They remove all the interesting stuff. Both bold of them to call this open source BTW since it was not the actual source data of the level. It literally it been compiled into another format. There's not much actual knowledge to be gained from this that couldn't be gained by just walking around in the level in game. It's just it's just geometry. The only unique thing is that is the character uh, pathing data, which is isn't really valuable beyond B valuable beyond AI training stuff is say what would have been cool is all of the stuff they use to build it like the gray box version 
concept art, scripts, tool, etc. This is nothing like ID software releasing the source code to a game like Quake Engine Tool Maps back in the day. I wish more devs would do that with their old games. Yeah, they need to. Well, this open source stuff is for people who like game design and, you know, um, video, who love video games, period. Who like the ins and outs of video games. Whether, whether, whether from coming up with the with the story, coming up with the idea, the story, the concept, you know, um, the levels, the maps, the everything. Um, this is for those people. Now, if you um, if you had reached, uh, if you had um, see back me, I'm so into this gaming stuff. People have no clue, but 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 anyway, look. If you read books like um, magazines like uh, say uh, Game Developer. Compute computer art, uh, 3D uh, 3D world, um, inside 3D studios. Then if you use to, if if you use uh, so softwares like AutoCAD or um, or uh, say Ray Dream, Bryce, what's that? What's the other one? Uh, there's there's a few others, but it, but but if you but if you're into this that if you were into those type of magazines and books, then this is for you. So. Um, this is just giving you an idea, you know, um, um, uh, of uh, what goes into game development. But according to the comment, especially from uh, what's his name, uh, from uh, from from PM, <laughs> he went a little deeper with it, you know, because like uh, like like Activision withheld some uh, like some like some uh, some information from this open source, so they're gonna have to re release that, so. So people can, um, you know, so people can use it and, you know, uh, get a get a better understanding of, you know, I mean, I get some more understanding of, you know, what needs to take place place within a game and stuff like that. But if you've been, but if you've been reading, uh, you know, like game developers, 3D studios, computer art, 3D world, Bryce Ray Dream, if you've been using AutoCAD, I remember. Um, when um, I had, I think, was it Linux? I think I had uh, Slackware Linux. I think I was using Slackware Linux. I was trying to get a, I think it was 3.2 at the time. And I had a copy of AutoCAD. And I could have, I, 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 I could, I could get into, a, I could have used it to get into like, you know, building designs and stuff like that. So I was, al I was already into, into stuff like that. But if you got, if you got experience with those type of, uh, software then um this is for you man so yeah it's all part of the gaming the gaming thing but activision withheld some things from the, based on what i'm looking at and yeah anyway i'm gonna leave the link in the description box with the article plus the uh plus the link to um the github uh, download anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video nice talking to you people again chris no star wars started thank board dark side i'm gone Peace.